Hey guys and welcome to my channel MathLead. In this video we will learn how to solve quadratic inequalities. So let's get straight to it. Let's say we're given x square minus 8x plus 12 is greater than 0. Now I have purposely written a simpler quadratic expression that can be easily factorized so we can focus on what's important. So I'll use the method breaking of middle term. Minus 8x can be rewritten as minus 6x minus 2x plus 12 is greater than 0. In this pair I can factor out x so that will give me x times x minus 6. In this pair I can factor out minus 2 so that will also give me bracket x minus 6 greater than 0. Since both the brackets are same that means we're doing perfectly alright. So x minus 2 times x minus 6 is greater than 0. Now let's for a while assume that instead of uh, an inequality we're given equal to 0 which will lead us to the conclusion that either x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 6. So what we have basically found here are two x-intercepts or the two points at which our curve will cut the x-axis. Now let's switch to the color black. Here I have the x-axis. And here the y-axis, let's label them x-axis, y-axis. Now what I'll do is I'll draw the curve of this equation taking into consideration just the x-intercepts. So one is 2 and the other is 6. Taking into consider consideration the x-intercepts and the nature. So I will we'll be drawing a happy face because it's a minimum curve. So here we have it. Now let's switch to another color. I'm going to go with blue because what I want you to do is I want you to think of the x-axis as the surface of water. Yep, I want you to think of as uh, think of the x-axis as it's the surface of water. Now let's go back to the color red. Now notice that the inequality given to us is greater than zero. What this basically means is that I want the part of the curve that lies above the surface of water. So at x equals to 6, our curve is lying just at the surface of water. However, for as long as I move towards the right of 6, I will obtain the curve that is lying above the water surface. So here we will have two solutions. One would be for as long as we move towards the right of 6 and the other would be for as long as we move towards the left of 2. Here also if I move towards the left of 2 I will obtain the part of the curve that lies above the surface of water. So let's write the solution down. Since we are moving towards the right of 6 meaning our x values will increase and our x values will be greater than 6. So one solution would be that x is greater than 6 or the other solution would be since we're moving towards the left of 2 meaning that our x values are decreasing meaning that our x values will now be lesser than 2. So the other solution would be that x is less than 2. So this is how you solve a quadratic inequality with a greater than equal to sign. In the next video we will do another example where we will solve a quadratic inequality with a less than zero sign. Now if you like this video I suggest you hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and happy learning.